Waves can overlap. When that happens, the highs and the lows can build upon each other. Or they can align in such a way that they balance each other out. When they build upon each other, this is called constructive interference. When they balance each other out, this is called destructive interference. Let's look at what happens step by step when two waves travel through each other. Here's a moment when two highs overlap. This results in a combined high that's much higher. This is constructive interference. Now, here's a moment where all the highs are perfectly overlapping all the lows. We see a cancellation of the wave amplitudes. This is a moment of destructive interference. If you took a snapshot photo, you might think that nothing is happening. Change that to a video, and you'd see otherwise. In the next moment, you've got a case where the two lows are now overlapping. This results in a combined low that's much lower. Once again, we have constructive interference. So, constructive and destructive interference never occur at the same time. Instead, they alternate, one after the other. And then the two waves continue on their merry way, having traveled right through each other, amazingly unaltered. Check this out. A wave can bounce off of a rigid structure. Let's add a second wave. Cool. Let's add a second wall and try to confine a single wave. Aha. Uh -huh. What we've got here is called a standing wave. Notice that to have a standing wave, the dimensions have to be just right, typically some multiple of the wave's wavelength. A musical instrument, such as a guitar or a flute, is engineered just right to accommodate standing waves vibrating within the instrument, producing beautiful sounds. That's good energy. Mm -hmm.